Hello and welcome back! In this video, I will show you how to use the for loop with break node. Let's get started. So this node has four inputs and three outputs. This node is basically the same as the for loop node. And if you want to know how to use that node, uh, please check out the video on the top right corner. So I will not be going over too much on how the for loop works, but what we want to know is how the break works. Here above we have a simple example. When I press the space bar, it's going to loop 11 times and it's going to print the index of the loop. So I'm going to press space, it's going to loop, and then it's going to print completed. You can see it printed on the top left corner. So that's simple. That's basically a for loop. But now we want to break it. And here's the important part. We need to break this loop within the loop body. We cannot break it uh, with a event outside of this loop because either the loop will be completed already or it might not even have started. So you need to break the loop within the loop body. So an example is you add a check. So we're gonna have equal, there's the index equal five. Then we're going to add a branch. And then we need to connect to this branch to the break. So one way to do it will be just dragging this over here. And it's not very pretty. You could use rewrote nodes by double clicking on the line. And then you could do it like this. It's a bit better. But I prefer to make a custom event. And the custom event is very simple. You just right click. Type in add custom event and then we give it a name so break loop and then connect it to the break the break input in the for loop and then here we just do break break loop so now this loop will not reach 10 it will only reach 5 so now when we look and check out the top left corner it's gonna loop until 5 and then finish it breaks and then it'll fire completed that simple so click on the space it's gonna loop break at five and completed so we can change this uh, condition we can change it to any number let's say number one so it's only gonna loop two times and then it's gonna complete so this is how you use a for loop with break always remember to break the loop in the loop body and don't break it in and through any other event break it it while you're in the loop body so i hope this video has helped you if you have any questions please feel free to comment down below and if you have any suggestions on other future tutorials i should make please comment as well don't forget to check out my patreon in the link below don't forget to like share and most of all please subscribe see you soon